My name is Masako Chen. I'm the assistant professor of ophthalmology at New York Eye and Ear Infirmary of Mount Sinai. And I would like to address some typical questions patients have when considering cataract surgery. A cataract is a cloudiness of the eye's natural lens, which lies between the front and back areas of the eye, directly behind the pupil. Mild cataracts often cause little or no vision problems, and during your annual exam, your doctor will monitor your cataract to see if it worsens, and more significantly affects your vision or lifestyle before recommending surgery. Cataracts usually begin to develop in your 40s, but are not usually noticed until you're in your 60s. A patient with cataract sees a fogged up or a frosty layer across the vision, and other symptoms may include blurry vision, sensitivity to light, changes in your prescription, and sometimes even double vision. Cataract surgery removes this natural lens and replaces it with an intraocular lens implant, which has a prescription to help you see better again, and it's customized to you. So cataracts materialize as part of the natural aging process of the eye. The eye's lens is composed of mostly water and protein, and the protein's naturally arranged to keep the lens clear and allow the light to pass through efficiently. As we age, cataracts develop as the proteins collect together, causing a clouding of the lens, preventing you to see clearly. It's important to be aware of the symptoms of a cataract. When you notice your vision for daily activities such as reading, driving, or watching TV is impaired, or you see halos around the lights, experience poor night vision, or just constant blurry vision, then you should come and see your ophthalmologist. Each person may experience symptoms differently or experience different severities. If you're experiencing any of these issues, it is time to schedule a comprehensive eye exam with an ophthalmologist to assess the health of the eye. This is the only way to know if you have a cataract and if you will need surgery. If you are experiencing the typical symptoms and are around 60 years or so, it would be beneficial to familiarize yourself with the process. There are several reputable ophthalmology websites where you can find reliable information such as the American Academy of Ophthalmology and National Eye Institute. Many patients consult friends and family members who have already had surgery as they compose a list of questions in preparation for their initial consultation. Cataract surgery is a routine procedure and you go home the same day. It's an outpatient procedure. It involves removing the natural lens in the eye and replacing it with an artificial lens that will last your lifetime. The lens is removed in one of the following ways depending on the type of cataract. The first one is phacoemulsification. With this procedure, your doctor uses a tool that uses ultrasound to break up the cataract into small pieces and suctions it out, and it's using a very small incision. Second is extracapular extraction. So this, you have to remove the cataract whole and requires a larger incision. Typically, this is reserved for more severe cataracts. Third is laser surgery. So your doctor guides a femtosecond laser and programs it to make the incisions um, and softens the cataract and also then goes back in using phaco emulsification to vacuum out the cataract and replace it with a new lens. That technique will allow for astigmatism correction and really creates another level of precision to the cataract surgery. Cataract surgery is usually performed under local anesthesia with topical numbing eye drops along with a mild sedative given intravenously to help you feel relaxed. An anesthesiologist will also monitor you during surgery and adjust your IV sedation as needed to keep you comfortable. Our goal is to keep you completely comfortable and pain-free at all times. So patients who need cataract surgery in both eyes will have two separate surgeries as close as two weeks apart. And your vision will fluctuate after surgery and once both eyes have surgery, 
your doctor will determine the need for glasses, usually around one month after surgery. So while cataract removal will greatly restore your vision, some patients may still require prescription eyeglasses or contact lenses for some activities, depending on which intraocular lens you pick. At New York Eye and Ear, our cataract specialists develop customized treatment plans that help reduce the need for glasses after cataract procedures. It's important for you to discuss your visual needs during your pre-op exam and cataract surgery consultation with your ophthalmologist to ensure the treatment plan fits your needs. Everybody's a little bit different. New York Eye and Ear Infirmary of Mount Sinai is one of the world's leading facilities for treating diseases of the eye and has remained at the forefront for innovative surgical specialty services for more than 200 years. The institution serves as the clinical site for breakthrough translational research, introducing many novel diagnostic and surgical techniques with a proud history of providing the highest quality patient care.